Okay, it's afternoon, so afternoon guys. Quick update, fence is going up. It's uh, a work in progress, a little bit slow. One post at a time type thing. But I'm liking the overall look. Bit of reclaimed timber, a few blemishes, make it look a bit more authentic. <laughs> In amongst the thing. I think I had two dogs up. Oh. Up. Barry. Mm. He's gone. <laughs> Come down and die. Me. So yeah, we've uh, put a little bit into it. A few days to go till that gets done. But as you can see by the palm trees, zero wind. A little bit of cloud cover, but the sun came out. Super foggy this morning and we're pulling the pin at lunch and gonna go for a quick dive, first one of the season. So see you in the boat. Okay, it's official first dive of 2021 20, yeah. winter. <laughs> Jeez, it's been a while. It's gonna be you cold. Can? It is gonna be cold. It's gonna be cold. I don't have a dive suit yet, so it's gonna be freezing. Hey buddy. You're a bit early, we haven't even gone out yet. No fish, sorry. <laughs> yeah, we'll see you on the way back. <laughs> okay. It looks murky already here. It looks green. Oh no, nah, should be alright up the island. See how we go. See you. Get into it. Getting ready to keep warm. Well, we've arrived at the first spot. A bit of good karma shining our way. We've left the fog back there. I don't know whether you can see that. She's so thick. And we've got a little window right where we want to have a jump in before the fog starts up there again. Strangely enough. <laughs> um, the water is super green. So the chances of you seeing anything on a GoPro are probably slim to none. But I'm gonna jump in the water anyway. Chances of seeing anything in there. <laughs> yeah. That's a good for you. Snorkels slim to none. No, no. Old fellow like me has got pretty awesome eyesight. So you're laughing. Oh, <laughs> so I'm gonna jump in anyway, have a bit of a poke around, see what I can't find. And um, yeah, we'll kind of go from there. If the water is clean ish, I'll uh, take the camera down. If not, I'm sure Tao will entertain you in the meantime. Hey. Yep, because I'm not getting it. Do any. a little dance. Mm -hmm. Make a little love. Get down tonight. <laughs> Is that rock? Yeah, it's gonna be cold. A couple of boats shooting up here. Hopefully they see the float. Okay, I'm gonna get suit up and get in. There's a baby red emperor down here. Oh really? No way. Making it real hard for the old white belt. <laughs> I was gonna say, that looks like you failed attempt to get to the bottom. He forgot his weight belt. Okay, 
can confirm water is green real green can't even see the bottom to you down there which is even harder given i forgot to bring a weight belt so yeah you know it's gonna be tough but i'm gonna scoot up see if i can find some cleaner water and we'll keep searching spot number two water looks even worse absolute soup but we're here so i'm gonna give it a look Okay, dirty, but I found one. It's only a bubba. Probably coming in here to breed, I'd say. He's been sitting in the uh, weed for a bit, by the looks. Cute little fella. Hey. I'll jump up and give you a bit of a closer look, and then we'll let him go back in his hole. See if we can find a bigger one. It's a good sign, but we'll. Uh, Continue the hunt. See how we go. Nice little one. Getting towards maturity. These have a bit of a. It's been there a while. He's got all sorts of growth on him. And uh, he's in good nick. Full set of antennas. And I think it's a female. If you let go of me. <laughs> Spiky buggers. So he'll be, or she should I say, will be coming in here to breed. So I think the bigger fins on the bottom are there for like kind of grasping the eggs when they have all the eggs underneath the bottom of them. Ooh, settle down, girl. So, uh, yeah. Well, she climbs onto me like a something out of Alien. <laughs> you can feel it really gripping on. Holy crap, look at that. It's digging into my glove. Stabbing me pretty crazy so I'll swim back out and put her back under the rock I found her mark it with the gun it's sitting there and yeah continue swimming along see if I can find a big daddy one to take home for dinner fingers crossed well that was bloody hard work but no more craze no fish no nothing be lucky to have two foot of visibility i reckon i don't know how i found that first one i must have just fallen upon it by accident but um yeah i'm gonna call it quits it's hard work without a weight belt can't believe i forgot it tower's pretty much asleep <laughs> the sun's kind of setting it's um a little bit a little bit nice it's really nice out here to be honest full glass out beautiful day beautiful day and lucky for us, we had a pretty successful deep drop, as you probably would have seen in the last video. So um, we might go home and cook up a tasty feed of flame tail snapper. So uh, yeah, waddle on back and uh, see you all in the kitchen. Okay, we're back in the Chaos Kitchen. The little shack attack. Plus tower. We put the uh, kitchen table where the lights are so you can't run into it anymore. <laughs> um, I'm hoping the lighting in here is actually better than our old kitchen because it was terrible to try and film in. So I think this is going to be better. Um, fingers crossed anyway. So, yeah, uh, flame tail snapper, nailed some. Last video, if you haven't seen it, go check it out. Worth a watch. Some pretty exciting times there. And um, yeah, we're just gonna do some really rustic fish burgers, but a little bit of a twist. Gonna do a homemade jalapeno and roast capsicum tartare, maybe, I guess you'd call it. Anyway, this is what's going on. So, homemade. Mayo, so it'll be egg and oil. Uh, and then we've got whole roasted peppers, which are actually roasted with garlic. We've got hot jalapenos, which I'm not putting many in because I don't want to blow Tao's head off, even though I love my spicy food. 
Uh, fresh lime, thank you to Abby at work. She actually won some sort of agricultural prize for these things. Um, so yeah, cheers Abby for hooking us up with those. A bit of mustard, salt, pepper, should be sweet to go. So, we'll get onto that first, and then we'll get onto the fish cooking aspect. Meanwhile, Tao's cooking sushi rice. A little something something happening on the side there. Okay, we'll get into it. Okay, I've been whipping my ass off and that's our base, which tastes all right. So now I'm going to add a little bit of oil, tablespoon at a time, whisk it, tablespoon, whisk it until you get that mayo consistency. Then we'll fold through the goodies. We should be close to done. There we have it. Spicy jalapeno and roasted capsicum mayo, I guess we'll go, because it's not really tart here. Anyway, we'll go with that. Looks good. And now we use the egg whites from that to do the fish, a bit of panko crumb, get these burgers underway. Here we have a big chunk of deep water goodness. No flame towel. So, gonna take the skin off that and uh, cut it into some portions. Save the rest for later. And uh, yeah, get her on the stove top. Okay, so I thought we had panko crumbs, but it turns out we don't. So, we've just got some seasoned flour, give them a quick dusting, straight in the pan, a bit of butter, a bit of oil. Grilled fish burgers. Happy days. <laughs> Okay, so we're good to go. Focaccia bread. And we're gonna get stuck into this. I've made a spicy mayo here. Put a layer of that on the bottom first, I think. Get all the chunky stuff, because that's where all the flavour's at. Nothing exciting preparation wise, but it's super good for you and it's super tasty. Fresh avo from the local farmer's market. Whoa! It's <laughs> <You're laughs> <spilling laughs> escaping. <laughs> it's so creamy, it's slipping out of my fingers. Fish. 
care what anyone says. Cheese, buzz, go and fish. You chose a weird spot to put the cheese though. Why? I feel like cheese should go on the bottom so you taste the goodness first. <laughs> Get it. Okay. There we go. Fish burger. Deconstructed. I did, but that took a lot of effort to get my teeth through it. Mouth around it. <laughs> How's that going for you? Mmm. Good. This fish hanging outside. Oh, that bit. <laughs> just drop some. Okay. It's also called Braddo's most challenging sandwich recipe. Yeah. So if you want really if you want to stitch your partner up and watch them struggle to eat something, make this one. <laughs> okay, that's it for us. We we're gonna tuck into this and see you on the next round. Just before we call it quits, I'd like to do a massive shout out to the guys at Skillshare for sponsoring this video, jumping on board and uh, helping the channel out to make sure that these videos keep coming to you guys. And a massive shout out also to everyone who follows the channel as well. Um, we've seen some immense growth this year, so um, thanks heaps and uh, keep up the good work so we can keep these coming. Anyone who doesn't know what Skillshare is, Skillshare is an online learning community. It's full of thousands of classes uh, all the way from beginners to super advanced doing things in the social media world, the creative world, uh, just increasing your skill set so that you as a person uh, who might be out there looking to broaden your horizons a bit, do a bit of a side hustle or just learn some new skills in general, uh, have the ability to take classes uh, that are presented by relevant current time people that are actually doing these things for a living. So one of the ones I'm currently enrolled in is a productivity course by Thomas Frank. So I'm using that to help uh, manage my time so these videos that I'm doing don't create more of a uh, demanding task for me to go out, record, publish, uh, edit and then upload and it becomes more of a job than a fun hobby so I want to keep it fun and uh, courses such as this one help me kind of advance my skill set so I can still do my full time job, do the house renos and uh, still bring videos to you guys without stressing myself out and burning out in the meantime. Luckily for you guys there's a little link below that will allow the first thousand people to a 14 day free trial which gives you unlimited access to all classes across the platform okay hold up usually it's 14 day free trial the guys at skillshare just emailed me the first thousand people on this particular link get a full month for free so jump on it first thousand people first in best dress um, you won't regret it. You've got nothing to lose. It's totally free. No sign-up costs. No nothing like that Have a bit of a browse through if you like what you see or you do a course and you think it's helpful It's only ten dollars a month thereafter to keep the subscription going and uh, maintain the courses For as little or as long as you want. Um, there's constantly new courses being uploaded all the time uh, and I find they're all relevant to the current, I don't know, digital world per se. So it's, uh, yeah, good little online helping tool. Uh, so yeah, thanks again guys. Don't forget, first thousand, totally free. What can you lose? Give it a shot, eh? See you on the next one.